We have that incredible escape caught on camera. The 11-year-old girl who fought off an attempted kidnapping. This morning, she's speaking out with her mother as the suspect appears in court. Victor Okendo joins us now with that. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Michael. Not only did 11-year-old Alyssa fight that man off, but she also left some evidence behind on her would-be abductor that helped police later identify him. She is very brave, but telling us she thought she might die that day. This morning, the 11-year-old seen in this video fighting off a brazen kidnapping attempt, telling GMA overnight only one thing was on her mind as she fought off her attacker. Will I die today? Will I get to live the rest of my life? Her mother, Amber Bunnell, emotionally describing the attack that happened in broad daylight as the young girl waited for the school bus. If I would have lost her yesterday, the chances of me getting her back would have been very slim. She was almost kidnapped, that the guy grabbed her by her throat. He had a knife. He drug her to the ground, that he, she was able to knock him down. That's when 11-year-old Alyssa took off, running to the nearest adult she could find. Experts saying her instincts saved her life. It's amazing that she was able to see this dangerous situation, avoid it, um, but she really understood that this is a bad situation that she was in, and she knew that she needed a fight to get away from it. Authorities say Alyssa's quick thinking helped police identify her attacker after she smeared blue slime on her abductor's arm, a tip she and her mom picked up from watching Law & Order. We watch the show's Law & Order Special Victims Unit, and... One thing is in them shows, they're always talking about how um, you can, if they would have left evidence. The man charged with her attempted kidnapping, 30-year-old Jared Stangup, appearing in court Wednesday. He allegedly approached Alyssa once before, about three weeks ago. Bunnell says since the first encounter, she's walked Alyssa to school every day, only missing Tuesday for the first time to tend to her infant child. This morning, still feeling a wave of emotions. It's creating guilt. For not, for not going out there. I mean, but I can't let that tear me up because I was going out there. None of this is, this is not my fault. It's not her fault. This is that man's fault. Gas station cameras also helped the Escambia County Sheriff's Office in Pensacola find their suspect. He is due back in court next month. Guys, this happened on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, that little girl's back in school. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, law and order. You never know when you're watching a program like that mm -hmm. how it can possibly help Lessons you. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Okay, Victor, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.